What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new wrestling action figure news for you guys as we've been covering over the last few days. Man, it's it's Mania season, and Mania season calls for a lot of wrestling action figure news in general, man. It's been insane, and just the other day, we had more reveals, and just the other day, we had reveals again, and so it's been, it's been hard on the wallet, but it's been a very fun time as a collector because we've gotten to see so many great figures and all these different things, man, but we're not done because today, we're going to be covering what was released or shown to us yesterday, and it is in celebration of Walmart Collector Con, which I do believe a lot of the figures you're going to see in today's video, or all of the figures actually, are Walmart exclusive, which I know I can already hear the groans from here, man. Walmart distribution is pretty trash nowadays. As Has it ever been great? I don't know. You know, it'd be one thing if every Walmart across the country was just sure enough ready to accept these figures and they were going to get these, no doubt about it. But we all know that's not the case. That is not how these things go. But today, man, we're going to be diving into some pretty damn good wrestling action figures that not only we got from WWE Mattel, but we also got some AEW Jazzwares figures, and I think it was a pretty damn good day, man, and I don't want to waste any more time, man, and again, we have more stuff coming in the coming days, I mean, in the next couple weeks, and then, of course, at WrestleMania World, we're going to have even more stuff, man, but nonetheless, let's dive into what we got today, man, and talk about all of the stuff that we have going on, man. First up, we have AEW Supreme Collection, Walmart exclusive Sting right here, man, and if you guys are unaware, the Supreme Collection line is now home at Walmart. That is where you can buy these figures only. You cannot get these figures anywhere else. These are Walmart exclusive. This is something that Jazzwares and Walmart got together and, and brought to us. So yeah, this is what it is, man. But taking a look at Sting, man, this is the figure, man. Look at how beautiful this is. We saw the render images not too long ago, man, but this figure is everything that I think everybody wants. Everybody that I've seen see this figure is really excited for it. Now, is it perfect by any stretch? No, it's not. We're going to dive into everything I think about this figure, but my God, it is a beautiful specimen, man. Look at that coat, that entrance coat, and you guys can actually, if you get in there, man, you can see the details on the collar of this jacket. I mean, this this entrance coat right here is some of the highest quality stuff I've seen out of an action figure in a minute, man. This looks really high quality. I can't wait to feel this thing in hand and whatnot, but you guys know the Supreme Collection Sting is a figure we've been waiting on. We've been waiting on a Sting in singlet for a long time, so this is something that I definitely, just desperately been wanting. As a big Sting guy, this, this checks all the boxes for me, but it is a Sting in singlet. He comes with his entrance jacket he comes with a t-shirt with the sting you know cross bats and everything like that i think we've seen that graphic in many figures but every time we get it it's usually a molded on long sleeve this time we actually have a cloth t-shirt and we have a cloth long sleeve and they both are different shirts so that's good as well i'm excited for this i mean if i run into this figure i, I mean i pray that i do run into this figure at retail i hope that i don't have to pay the aftermarket price we'll have to see about that but this is an easy cop of of multiple copies because you're getting all that art articulation in there. You can make so many different versions of Sting here, and we're going to dive into the more details here. So you do get the long sleeve tee, you get the short sleeve tee, you get the long entrance coat, which is beautiful, you get the baseball bat, you get the Sting mask, which I think is great. You even get a shot of it on the figure itself, but this is great, man, because I, I love that you can now recreate the Sting mask from all the different moments, right? I mean, I just think that's so beautiful. So I, I would buy multiples of this figure just to stock up on that mask. I just like little accessories like that. So, you know, tying into Sting there is beautiful. Then you get three interchangeable heads. You have the screaming, messed up paint, face paint, which I like a lot. You have the sort of like talking, like mid-talking head sculpt, which is interesting. And then you also have the regular straight face head sculpt. So we are getting three different interchangeable heads here. And I will say, I, the one that's just straight face, it looks a bit weird. It's like the eye shape or something like that. It's kind of throwing me off. But I do believe that, you know, it, the, the one where he's kind of talking and then the screaming one have better likeness to sing in my opinion. But I still I can't wait for this because you can grab these head sculpts and you can make different copies. And now I'm kind of sick. I'm kind of sickened because I don't know if you guys remember a few months ago, maybe even been a year ago or close to a year ago, I made the Hall of Fame induction sting figure with the bow tie, and I I painted one of these AEW head sculpts and made a you know an unpainted face sting figure, and then I ended up selling it. Really wish I had that figure now, man. Really wish I had that figure. I'm gonna have to remake that figure down the line at some point. But this figure looks everything that you want out of a sting figure, man. Really excited for it. I think it looks damn good. Cannot wait for it. You also get interchangeable fists, interchangeable holding, you know, mic holding or weapon holding or bat holding hands. And then you have outward stretchered hands here or relaxed hands or like kind of reaching out style hands that we saw in the Unmatched Series 1 Dustin Rhodes figure. So there's all those things. Now, the one thing about the figure that I don't really like, they are using the same boots. They are Supreme style though. We'll have to see if those end up falling forward or whatnot. But I, it's kind of hard to judge before you get it in hand. You know, how does it pose? These are important things. You got to think that when you put 
other head sculpts on there. I don't know what a Defining Moments Elite head sculpt's gonna look on here. I don't know what that one basic Sting head sculpt's gonna look on here. So, you know, you take those things into consideration. It's still an Instacop. It's not even a thought. You know, this is this is a great figure. I can't wait for this. This could end up being, you know, one of my favorite AEW figures I've ever done. So we're, we're gonna have to see here. But yeah, we're gonna have to just wait and see there. But the photos look phenomenal. Cannot wait for it. And it should be a fun one. But that is our Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive Sting. Should be hitting, I would imagine, before summer, man. I'd imagine before summer. And this figure also goes up for pre-order March. It's very weird because on Walmart.com, they don't even know when the hell it's releasing. It's either, they give you two different dates, seriously. It's either March 14th next week or March 15th. And it gives you two different dates there. So be aware. Be aware on March 14th, but also be aware on March 15th. So if it doesn't go up on the 14th, probably going up on the 15th. But something to definitely be aware of when you're, you know, talking about this figure man but that is our AEW Supreme Sting let's move into some WWE Ultimate Edition figures Walmart exclusive Monday Night War set man these are some figures that we've known about for a while these are updated images now also I don't think that Walmart.com posted up all our damn images man I think we're lacking some images here they left out some stuff and we don't know all of the details or the lore of everything because they left out some of the photos so I can't you know I can't put in every single photo but I'm going to put in all the photos that I actually have and again over the course of the next couple weeks we're probably going to get more images of these details and we'll be able to you know further iron out exactly what we're getting but I do have enough to discuss so let's dive into it man we have Eddie Guerrero here and the first thing that you're going to notice is this is significantly different than his other Ultimate Edition that we got the other Walmart exclusive Ruthless Aggression I mean this guy got a complete formula change man you're getting your mullet or long hairstyle Eddie Guerrero you're getting smaller arms smaller torso better skin tone the legs are smaller they have completely revamped I think the legs are smaller I could be tripping maybe it's the same leg mold but they have completely revamped this guy he looks completely different more accurate skin tone something we saw back on elite 105 dominic mysterio you know a lot of people were upset about the dominic mysterio from you know the first go around i think it was like elite 89 and then you know they've been in this thing where they're getting more realistic skin tones for these wrestlers and this looks so good man i love the gear this is beautiful this is classic eddie guerrero gear right here this is an, a version of eddie guerrero i've wanted for a very long time i know we've gotten one similar version not quite you know, but he does come with the Cruiserweight Championship here from WCW, which looks great. I love the head sculpts. We get brand new head sculpts here. I like the likeness. Now, some people will probably say that he may be a little bit too lean. Maybe he's not as jacked as you'd like, but I think really the torso doesn't bother me as much as maybe the shoulders and arms. I feel like, you know, there's, there's going to be arms that you could put in here. Now, they're not coming to me right off, but, you know, Ultimate Editions are really good about being able to switch shoulders and arms, so I think you'll be able to fix this guy up pretty, pretty good here. But I'm enjoying this figure, man. I'm really enjoying this figure. I, I, I think that it looks pretty damn good. Again, you know, I think the torso is not as big of a deal as, again, the shoulders and arms. I think there's going to be some shoulders and arms that we could switch in here to make it probably look a little bit better or more accurate to Eddie Guerrero. But it's a damn good figure, man. This is damn good. Cannot wait for this figure. And you could even easily, you know, put the European Championship on this. There's definitely certain things you could do to fix up this Eddie Guerrero to make, you know, that younger version of Eddie Guerrero. But this is good stuff. I'm, I'm happy with it. I don't hate this whatsoever. However, I saw some people kind of cr trashing on it. I, I like it. I don't know. You guys can sound off down in the comment section below. But the other half of the Monday Night War set, which I can't wait for. We still don't have Series 1. This is what's kind of sickening. You know, they're they're talking about Series 3 Monday Night War Elite set in this video. Haven't even seen Series 1. Haven't even looked at it. But apparently it is hitting retail as we speak. So maybe that'll change. But nonetheless, moving on to Mankind, man. Mankind Monday Night War Ultimate Edition here, man. This figure looks as good as I thought it would, man. I really like this. I remember we talked about the elite three pack you know the mick foley three pack the three faces of foley three pack rings that exclusive figure set we talked about that we reviewed that on the channel and i was talking about how i thought the ultimate edition was going to really stand out and i hit the nail on the head man this looks so damn good man and i i remember talking about you know we didn't have you know the ver this is my version of mankind like when i think of mankind this is what i think of and, you know, in that three-pack, we had sort of the, the brown version or the, you know, the classic version of Mankind. But for me, this is better. This is this is right up my alley right here, man. You get the Mr. Sacco. I like these head sculpts, the mask. And, again, they don't show us all the accessories, which is very bummy. Really wish they would have gotten, we could, we could have gotten every single accessory in here. But it looks like if you see the shot from behind the figure, too, you'll notice I'm pretty sure he has a black tank top on underneath this, you know, when we get more images of it and whatnot. But it looks really good. And I do believe they did give him the jacket ass arms which is is a whole nother thing wwf championship you have the this cloth shirt is great man and it's so good because you know you can pop the arms off and then just drape the shirt over it and it'd be really easy but one thing that is kind of tripping me out and I, I don't know maybe you guys can let me know 
or something like that. But in these photos, I cannot tell if this tie is separate from this shirt. Can anybody help me out here? Can anybody? I, I'm looking at this shirt, and every photo I look in, I think that it's separate. And then when I see a different photo of it, it looks like it's it looks like it's printed onto the shirt. Is this tie printed onto the shirt, or is it actually is it actually a loose tie that you can actually you know? take off separately and have a white shirt. I cannot tell if they're two separate pieces. It almost looks like it's screen printed on. I hope it's not screen printed on. I think that would be I mean, I guess it would definitely lower the, the grade of the figure here, but I don't know. You guys can let me know. Is it screen printed on or not? I can't tell. I hope it's not, but who knows at this juncture. But, you know, the Mankind figure looks really damn good. Mr. Sako, WWF Championship, great looking head sculpt. Really excited for the Mankind figure. And again, we don't know all the... I, I don't have details of every single accessory because Walmart only, you know, selected a couple photos or which photos to upload, so we only have what they've given us so far. But we should get more detailed images of this very soon, and I love the ripped up sleeves on this and the bottom of the shirt. It looks so good, man. Very clean aesthetic of the figure, and I like that it covers up the jacked arms. So the, the jacked arms don't bother me that much compared to the defining moments. You know, we talked about that defining moments figure and how I trashed on it because I felt like it looked really jacksy. The arms were so big and the, like the torn sleeves were sculpted on, so it really made him look overly jacked. This works because you can't see the biceps, so it really does look good. I mean, you could still kind of see the definition in his forearms, but at the end of the day, this looks way better than the uh, uh, defining moments elite in my opinion so this looks damn good really excited for the mankind ultimate edition but both of those are series two of the monday night wars ultimate edition walmart exclusive sets coming to walmart like i said exclusive there but let's dive into the next set of figures right here man we have monday night wars elite series number three now we do have some figures that we knew about and we have some figures that we didn't know about let's dive into the figures that we knew about first we do have harlem heat here and of course we do have booker t and stevie ray and both of these look really good i'm liking the parts choices they're they're kind of repaints of their elite 47 figures i think it was elite 47 but they do have you know the added double jointed arms the head sculpts look really damn good got the red boots in there i like this gear better than any other harlem heat we've ever had i think i like i, I like the black the black looks really sick and you guys know that we also have the chase variants of these guys coming in blue and we don't have images of those so the, that's another thing we don't have the chase variant versions in here we don't have, you know, the Build-A-Figure of the Disciple, which I do believe is the Build-A-Figure for this set. So those are some things that Walmart's missing out on. But Stevie Ray and Booker T look really good. Really loving their head sculpts here. I think they look, have a lot of likeness and a lot of character to them. So really impressed with these. I like the headgear and everything. These are sweet. I'm, I'm excited for the Harlem Heat. And we also have a look at The Rock. Now, this is a Nation Rock right here, and it's kind of, this is an update, right? So, if you guys go back in time to Kmart, Kmart exclusive Elite 2-pack, I remember when these were warming the shelves, and they clearanced them, and when they clearanced them, they went, it was $39.99, and then they clearanced them. I shish you not. I wish I still had the photo. They went, it said clearance items, and you go over to the clearance tag, and it says previously $39.99, now $39.98. I shish you not. There may be a toy hunt on the channel back in the day that uh, we actually captured that, but this is a redo of the Nation Rock here. It came with Farouk originally. Well, they have the same trunk, same knee pads, but they did fix the torso. So, originally, this figure had the biggest torso you've ever seen. And I used to complain about this about rock figures that they would go from the overly jacked, super jacked torso to the more realistic tone or the more realistic torso that I prefer for an older rock versus a modern rock. For modern rock, I prefer the bigger, overly muscular Triple H style torso. But for this era of rock, this is the torso that I like to see. So I've always complained about that figure specifically. So if you guys have that original Nation Rock, this may be the time to move it because you're also getting an Ultimate Edition head sculpt on there, but you're also getting an interchangeable meme rock head sculpt look at this right here man he is doing the meme face if you guys have ever seen this meme or whatever where it's kind of like the rolling the eyes head sculpt this is very clever by mattel i think it's very interesting i think that it's creative i like that they're kind of pushing that and you know putting out stuff like that you know mattel tends to do some things like that from time to time where they they i don't know they they really can give you some stuff that's very outside the box and this is one of those things now is it the most like i don't know flattering head sculpt absolutely not you know it kind of looks a bit goofy and whatnot and his, his eye looks a little bit lazy there it, it's a very funny one i guess it's going to depend on how good your print is when you get the figure but i like that they did this i think this is funny and i think that they did a really good job here on uh attempting something really cool and uh, again is it perfectly executed not from this photo it's hard to tell if it's as good as you know we're thinking it is but we'll have to see about that it still is a cool and unique idea and i do like that but the rock figure he also comes with a cloth goods shirt and you know he did wear this shirt from his time there i think that you know it's cool it's a very interesting release and he comes with the raw as war microphone and this is uh, an entry into the 
line that we did not know we were getting. So not the most exciting of all time, but I do like that they tried to, you know, they, they gave you a shirt we haven't seen. They fixed, they kind of righted a wrong from back in the day. Like, was there anything particular? Was anybody like, damn, boo, they really need to re-release that Nation Rock with the Jack Torso and get it fixed right? No, I don't think so. But it's still cool that they did that. And I guess... I don't know. I guess this is the right way to do that and put it in this line, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think there. But the last figure in the set, and this is a controversial one, man. This one right here, like I'm very excited at, for a reason, and then I'm also like, what the hell is even that? So let's dive into it, man. RVD, not somebody I expected to see in this line at all, but this is from 97, I do believe. And this is a beautiful, like I love this gear. A very underrated RVD singlet right here. And they're going for like a young Rob Van Dam head sculpt. I don't know how well it works. And we only really have like two photos of this figure, I think it is. But we have like the stand back photo where he's doing the Rob Van Dam pose. And then we have the one where he's kind of doing like his, his photo shoot style pose here. Where he's kind of like, you know, got the thumb back on himself right there. But I love this singlet. The head sculpt, I'm not really big on. It looks very weird to me. It low-key kind of has like a Benoit vibe. I don't know. I'm kind of getting like a Benoit vibe from the eyes or something like that. But he's got like this straight face. It's not the worst head sculpt of all time, but they're trying to capture like a younger looking RVD. I love the singlet. The singlet is badass. And I think that this is actually going to be kind of an easy figure to convert into, you know, if you want to give him, you know, the, the older head sculpt and make it into a more modern RVD where he's rocking this attire, which I'm definitely going to do. You can definitely do that. But what I'm confused on is these damn legs, man. What is going on? On these legs you know what it looks like man his legs are way too damn long i don't know what's going on here i don't know if this is going to be fixed but this is i'm pretty sure this is like elite 85 carrying cross legs where he's on ball joints and then his lower legs are really long. Like, he has really long lower legs. And it almost looks like Johnny Gargano Syndrome, but it's not Johnny Gargano Syndrome. These are full-length kick pads, but they are plugged into these, like, very weird lower legs. Like, these are these are lower legs that you would typically give somebody that you're giving regular wrestling boots, right? Like a, like a I don't know, like a Cody Rhodes or a Christian lower leg sort of deal. And then they are putting kick pads into it. So I don't know how damn tall this figure is, but... Very odd choice. I don't know what's going on here, but I do believe that these legs are not going to be pinless. These are going to be pinned legs. So that's actually refreshing because you can uh, switch that out. And another thing is if, uh, you know, maybe if this upper leg is too long still when you switch out the lower leg, I'm pretty sure, like, the singlet is designed to where even if you plugged in a different thigh, I think it's going to be okay because, you know, it looks like the singlet ends. It, you may cut off a little bit of the singlet, but I don't think it's going to matter that much. So hopefully this figure can be saved here. But it's very I don't know why they went with this longer, or maybe it's just an optical illusion, but this looks like very long lower legs plugged in with some kick pads, similar to an Elite 85 carry and cross situation. Very, very weird there. And uh, I don't know if anybody even noticed that, but it's the first thing that I noticed about the figure. I was like, uh, first of all, this head sculpt's unique. I don't know what's going on there, but the lower legs are very, very interesting. I don't know what the hell's going on there. We're going to have to definitely dive into surgery, and maybe this figure changes before it's released, or, you know, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. I don't know, but yeah, we're definitely, it looks like, based off these photos, this guy's going to definitely need some surgery on the lower legs. It's just a very odd choice. His legs look so damn long. It looks like he could freaking just black mass you from across the room, so definitely going to have to do something about that RVD, but that is the full Monday Night Wars Elite set series number three and you do have you know you have Harlem Heat you have RVD and you have The Rock and then the build a figure is the Disciple which we didn't have any images of so I do believe that is the case there so you guys can let me know what you think of all that down in the comment section below do you like the Monday Night Wars Elite Set Series 3 let me know all of that info down in the comment section below man but we are moving on to the last couple figures that we have here man and this is going to be Walmart exclusive Walmart exclusive AEW Jazzwares unrivaled Young Bucks and man these figures look ridiculous man I really like these. We have Matt and Nick Jackson. We have the Young Bucks. Now, we do not know. There's some information about these figures that I do not know, right? And we're going to get into all the lore about it. But going through here, man, first of all, these these attires are very toyetic. I think they did a great job on these. And it's, it's cool because, you know, they do have their jackets on, like their Galaxy Paint style, you know, jackets here that say Young Bucks on them. Very cool attire here, which I love. But it's also cool because you could easily torso swap these guys with something else and make these into regular figures that are wrestling. So if you don't like the entrance jackets, you could easily, you know, you know, torso switch and bam, there it is. You have Young Bucks without the jackets on ready to fight. Now, one thing that's interesting too 
is the they have their custom shoes in here, and it looks like they have the exact logo, so I don't know if they own the rights to this or what, or if they paid extra, but these shoes were custom made for the Bucks, and maybe it's because they changed the logo, but these are like custom Young Buck shoes that they have made, and I can't remember the company. It was like, I, I don't remember. The, it starts with a D or something like that, but they have the, the zebra print there with the pink and the, the, everything. It kind of has MDT vibes going on with it, but these are awesome. I love these. The the head sculpts, you can't really see, but it's kind of like the, somebody said they look like lampshades, which I think is funny, but they have the headbands that have the tassels coming off of it. I don't know if you can remove the headband. I don't know if they have interchangeable head sculpts. I don't think they have interchangeable head sculpts because if you go to them in package, it doesn't show a uh, head sculpt, so I don't think the it may be a case where you have to actually cut the tassels off to be able to see their faces or you'll have to just do a traditional head swap however i still like these figures a lot man they look awesome i like these may be my f new favorite young buck figures that we've ever seen unrivaled series 3 were great but these look really damn good as well might have to take these and then put some supreme torsos in there and make some supreme versions of the bucks using these attires because i like these and you don't have to worry about the cloth tassels so they actually have really cool attires to mix with, you know, that Supreme Torso. Uh, legs look a little bit short here. We'll have to see when we get them in hand, but hopefully they scale well. But these are really cool Walmart exclusives. They have the blue packaging now, which is unique because I feel like last time every other one has been unmatched collection or they've been unrivaled, but they've had the silver tie, the silver color. So I really wish they would have kept it blue from the beginning. Like the Target exclusive is red. Makes sense for the, you know, the Target logo. And then these are Walmart exclusive. I don't know when these are hitting. It says that they'll be able available for pre-order on March 15th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so definitely mark that in your calendar. And I do believe all these figures go up for pre-order on that day. But again, on the Sting, it said it said two different dates, so you just wanna you wanna double check that, man. But the Young Bucks look really damn good. Young Bucks look really good. Like I said, I think these may be my favorite Bucks that we've seen so far. But Matt and Nick look really cool, even if the head sculpts are weird. I think that we have enough Young Buck head sculpts that you could switch out and make your own versions of the Bucks if you wanted to. If you didn't like the lampshade head sculpts or the headbands on there, or you could cut the tassels off, or I don't know, you just have to play around with that. There's so many different combinations of things you could do with these figures to make them look unique, but I like it. I like everything that we have going on with these guys, but I do believe that is all of the news that we had, man. We got to see some really good stuff. I love the Supreme Sting. I love the Bucks. I love the ultimate editions that we saw the only thing that i have questions about is the rbd legs i think those are very questionable and then i also think that the i don't know the series three of the monday night war set is not my favorite set of all time However, you know, we'll have to wait and see until we get some more images and details of the figures. But, you know, let me know what you think of all that down in the comment section below, man. I would love to know, of course. But before we get out of here, huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. And we also had a new sign-up yesterday. Huge shout-out to my man Brady Roy for signing up, man. Huge shout-out to you, brother. Thank you so much for the continued support on the channel, man. You are an absolute boss. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all of your thoughts on all this news down in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. Love to interact with you guys on all the news. Tell me what you think of all the stuff down below and I will get the hell out of here, man. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.